Kenny. Um, how would you evaluate the progress of your freshmen this year? Are you disappointed, encouraged, or what's your opinion about that? Um, the first thing I would say that, is that, Russ, they have shown um, potential. They have shown what they can do when they play well. They can show them, they have shown what they can do when they're locked in. Um, you know, from Tyler having a game that's probably never been had in this building before in Florida State. Uh, Curtis has had games. Caleb has had games where they've shown potential of what they can do. Um, has it been consistent enough? Not, not for me. But they have shown that they're capable and they have gotten better. And it's senior night coming up. You've got three that are going to be honored. But let's start with JJ and the time that he's spent at Louisville and what he's meant for this program. Can't put into words. Um, I was at Kentucky when I first met JJ. Um, Boo Brewer was his high school coach. Um, watched him the first couple of years at Louisville. Came here. Um, and when I came here, I saw a young man that didn't have confidence, had lost a lot of his self-esteem and who he is as a player. And to see the transformation has been unbelievable. Um, he is a, a great kid, a hard worker, um, learning about himself and has done nothing but grow. Uh, from the first practices when I came in and said, every time that you drop your head or slump your shoulders, I'm running you to seeing him play with energy, clapping, dunking the ball backwards, uh, feeling good about who he is as a player. That's a long way from, from where he started, so. Kenny, what has it meant for you to have Zan here? I mean, this has been a tumultuous couple of years here. What has it meant for you to have him by your side? What was it like to when he, when he hit those shots the other night and you, and you kind of saw the reaction again? I just love the fact, you know, more than the shots, just to fight, the willingness to give up his body, even though he's uh, a lot shorter than some of the guys he's guarding, he's fighting out there. And that's all I'm asking from all the players is to go out and fight. And when your son goes out there and, and he does it and he takes charges and he um, head on the swivel and bouncing and reacting to things on the court defensively, I take pride in that. And, I, and I've said this a number of times and sometimes you know, you look at a kid and you don't know his story. My son has been around elite, elite, elite basketball players. In the summers, my son was traveling with the Olympic team, spent time with Kevin Durant and Chris Paul and um, all of that. Julius Randle in the summer, a few summers ago. Anthony Davis. So he's seen basketball at a high, high level and he spent time with players and he understands the game. So I'm proud that he's he's earned respect. First, more more than anything, he has earned respect um, without me giving it to him. Um, I tried at times not to play him, and he kept fighting. So I'm proud of him. Kenny, between tomorrow and then whatever you guys do in the ACC tournament, what would you like to see this team be able to get accomplished in that time? <clears throat> I believe that we're winning, um, but I need those guys to believe. Um, what I like to get accomplished, I like for us not to turn the ball over on the court. I like for us to defend with a fire. I would like for us to uh, get in this tournament where we're 0-0 zero and, zero and fight like never before and believe that we're going to win and play winning basketball and share with each other and talk to each other on the court. and prove to people that, you know, earn respect, earn respect. Kenny, how often, how often do you have uh, conversations throughout the season with Josh, and have there been any this week about your future? Uh, me and Josh talk regularly, um, have not talked this week, um, but we, we do talk regularly. What's your understanding about what the process is after the season, how it will play out in determining whether whether you will be back or not? I have no idea, haven't thought about it. Um, 
you know, I would I would hope that we get the runway to fix this program, um, but that's not my decision. You know, my job is to every day get this team better, fight to get it better, and that's all I'm concerned. Yeah, Kenny, this, um, you know, this recent skit that you guys have been on started in the second half at Boston College. I'm just wondering, as you go back and I watch the tape of that, um, what went wrong there and just um, how do you try to get that fixed tomorrow? The first half of the Boston College game, we fought. We were the aggressors. We were physical. We were more physical than them. Um, the second half, they attacked us. They were physical. Um, and we shot away. Um, we had unforced turnovers. The offense wasn't as crisp. We didn't get out in transition and get easy baskets the way we did in the first half. And so we ended up playing on our heels and they got momentum. Uh, very similar to what they did to Miami. Uh, the first half, Miami was in control. They were the aggressors. Second half, Boston College was. Um, Kenny, you just kind of talked a minute ago about it. You say hoping the mindset like zero zero. Do you approach this as a, a fresh start, or do you still just kind of want to build off what you know hasn't gone right this season? How do you kind of approach this? A little bit of both. Of course, we want to fix the things that that uh, we've not been good at, but we also got to approach this like this is a new start for us. Um, I think that we're capable of beating anybody we play. I think that we're capable of surprising people. And if you get in a dog fight and at the end of the game, a team that's supposed to beat you, they get tight. You just got to make sure you got the game close enough to where they get tight. Kenny, was, was there a moment this season where you kind of felt like it, the season got away from you, so to speak, whether it was injuries or something else going on? Was there some point you look back at? No, we've been. You know, see, we've been we've been dealt sometimes bad hands. Sometimes, you know, when guys are injured, you can't control that. Um, when a kid decides in the summer to go um, play professionally, you can't control that. Um, you know, going down with two point guards and not having a point guard, you can't control that. So, at one point or the other, did I feel like no? We've been dealt bad hands at times, and my thing is I'm not using that as an excuse and I'm not allowing them to. I expect you to go out there and fight to win um, because nobody wants to hear the excuses. Nobody really is talking about you without J.J. Trainer. Nobody's talking about by now where would Dennis Evans be. No, nobody's talking about that. Um, so we can't worry about that. We just got to go out and fight. Kenny, considering the hand you are dealt right now and, and talking about the fact you do believe in this team down the stretch here, can you expand on that just a little bit as far as where on this team do you find belief that you guys can win these games against the tough teams in the tournament you're going to face here in the next week? First of all, we have a post player in Brandon Hadfield who demands double teams, uh, who has played his best basketball of his career. He has gotten better. Uh, he plays to win. He's an example of why I have hope. Um, we've had Scott Clark have great games. Mike James has had great games. Trey White has had really good offensive games, and I, don't, I want to emphasize this, but he's also had games where he's had 12, 13, 14 rebounds. I need that Trey White. So if we put it all together, that, that's what gives me hope. If we fight together on defense, that's what gives me hope. If we don't turn the ball over, that gives me hope. Because some of this, to be honest with you, we've sort of beaten ourselves. Um, we talk about the defensive numbers. Well, if you play good defense and get a stop and they get that rebound, you're killing your numbers. If you turn the ball over and it's a live ball turnover and another team gets six layups off live ball turnovers, you're beating yourself. So if you correct those things, that was, that's what really gives me hope. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you. All right guys.